This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. Welcome to Analytics Solutions channel. In this helpful tips and tricks video, let's learn how to insert serial numbers in various different ways. We all know that adding serial numbers in a range is very difficult. But I will be teaching you a different way of easily inserting these row numbers in the range. Before learning this, suppose if you still not subscribe to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. Right, let's learn the various ways of inserting serial numbers in the range. First way is by using fill handle. In this table, I just type one and in the next row, I'll type two. Select these two cells and we just have to drag this. When I drag this fill handle, we will get the serial numbers. Next way is by using row formula. I have a similar table here. We'll just go here and type the row formula. This row formula will actually give me the row number of the active cell. I'm getting this as seven because I'm using this row number, the row formula in this row seven cell. So how to get this as one? We'll just try to adjust this by giving minus six. Now I'll get this one and I can drag this below. I'll get this serial numbers. Next way is by fill series. Fill series will help us in filling the series. Type one in the first cell of the range. Select the range still where you need the serial numbers. Go to this home tab. And here we have fill. Once I click on this fill, I'll get the option series. Click on the series, we'll get a small window. Here we'll get this row columns. Select these columns. It says step value, and in the end, you give the stop value. So I want the serial number from 1 to 10. I just use step value 1 and 10. I'll say okay. You can see that I'll get the serial numbers. Next way is adding one to the previous number. Let's type one. And the next cell, I'll use the formula equals this previous cell plus one. Press enter. Now, if you drag this formula by using this fill handle till bottom, till wherever you need the serial numbers, it will automatically generate the serial numbers. Next way is by using count A formula. Count A is used to count the range what you have selected. Let's use this count equals count A and we'll select this cell and the range will select till C7. Press enter. Now if we drag this, we'll not get the serial number. We'll double click here to edit and let's make this first address absolute by pressing F4, say enter. Now if I drag this down, I will get the serial number. Next option is Roman numbers. Suppose you want to generate the serial number as a Roman number, we have a function called as Roman. Equals Roman will give the row number. When I press enter, I'll get the Roman number for seventh row. But I need this to be from one. Double click, go to the edit mode. Minus six, just put minus six in the row number and close the bracket. Now we can see we'll get the Roman number one. If we drag this down, we will get the Roman numbers, serial number here. Next way is subtotal. By using the subtotal, we can get the serial numbers. Let's say equals subtotal. Select this count a function by using index three, comma, we can select the range. Let's select this range and till C7. 
let's make the first address absolute enter now by using this fill handle we'll just copy this down we will get the serial number the advantage of using this subtotal is suppose we are filtering this data i go into this data and say filter now if i filter this any of the region we can see that still we can get the serial numbers next option by using table in table we can generate the serial numbers automatically when we add the data let's type one formula equals this value plus one just check the previous address and press plus one let's drag it down till here now if i convert this into table how to convert this let's go to this insert and convert this into table say okay so let's add more data to this table let's go to any of this table we'll copy this data we'll come back to this table and let's paste it we can see that i'm getting the serial number automatically next option is serial dates let's type the date and in the next cell we'll type the next date let's select these two date and drag this down we will get the serial dates next option is serial dates by adding one to the previous cell let's type 1st jan 2021 equals we'll select the previous address plus one say enter now i can drag this down we'll get the serial dates next option is generating serial numbers and getting the serial dates let's use this serial numbers to generate one and two and we can use this fill handle double click will get the serial number if you want to get the date the equals we have a function called as date open bracket it lasts for year let's type 2021 comma will take the month as one and here we have this day let's select this day the serial number will be one when i say enter we'll get the date when i copy this down we can see that i'm getting this series of dates this is how we can actually generate the serial numbers or the series of dates i have mentioned some of the options which i knew if you think that there are more options please do comment in our comment box below thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please give a like and if you think this video was very useful please do share this video and if you're not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel and also please press the bell button so that you can get the notification of the videos whenever we upload it thank you so much for watching this video